What's a big no-no when it comes to a first date? Strangely hasn't been mentioned yet. But don't be late. And added on top. If something does hold you up. Let the other person know so they aren't just waiting around wondering if you'll show. Talking about your future children. Good luck on your date OP. A flowchart of your s'll needs expectations. I spent all night on this thing. Wearing a GoPro on your head so you can learn what you did wrong. Telling her you can only stay for 3 hours tops because you have another date starting at 10 o'clock. When the waiter pulls you aside to say don't do it. Don't shake their hand at the end. Also. Don't exchange business cards or say that your people will call her people. Complaining about anything. A first date should be fun. Went on a date once with a girl like this. First we went to the restaurant that we had a reservation for and had to wait for 10 minutes. She complained. Then the bread the waiter brought over was cold. She complained. Then without any prompt she started complain about an argument she had with her roommate prior to me picking her up. After the meal we decided to walk along the boardwalk of the beach. She complained it was too windy. We got ice cream and she complained it was too messy even though she suggested the place. Next day she texted me that she had a blast and wanted to know when the next date was. I was so confused because all she did was complain the whole time. Being too pretentious or condescending. Along this note, correcting your date constantly. Especially if it's you bluffing to sound smarter than you are. And or it's your date's field of expertise. See. The guy my friend met a couple times for drinks. Who insisted on calling into question everything she knew about astrophysics. Which is a field she has two degrees and a job in. He's a middle school pay instructor. Opening up too much. A first date is a test for compatibility. They don't need to know your deepest intricacies and they probably don't want to yet. Girl. So when I was 15 I had an eating disorder and got so thin I had to go to rehab and I lost my virginity to her a senior when I was a freshman in his parents bed and I don't get along with my parents who yell and fight all the time and I think they are getting a divorce. And I get occasional herpes flashes. Me. Hi. So you ready to go inside the restaurant? I would reserve farting until at least the second date. I was seeing a girl a few years back. It had been about 3 months and I was helping her move a new washing machine into her apartment. I went to tilt it back on the hand trucks when a fart slipped out. Caught me off guard as much as it did her. She waited until I got it moved in and hooked up before she told me that her relationship was over and to never contact her again. I asked why and she had trouble explaining why that fart upset her so much but that it basically did and she can't handle that. I went on a first date two weeks ago with a guy who showed up wearing a t-shirt that said keep your bitch in check on the back. That was a daring move. Imo. I went on a first date in high school, my first real date. I got jazzed up in black dockers and a shiny grey dressy t-shirt, best way I can describe it. My nipples showed through the shirt. So I decided to wear an undershirt. But my undershirt was too big. And you could see it past the sleeves on the shirt and also the neckline. I did not have a wife beater. I did what any sane person would do and I cut the shirt up so it was basically a shell of an undershirt just covering my nipples. It was uncomfortable. Date got hot and heavy and she ended up taking off my shirt and seeing this monstrosity underneath it. She quickly put on the brakes and we never dated again. So. Do that. Looking at your phone. Don't even touch it for the entire time that you are with the person. For the first couple dates really. God I hate this with a passion. Went on a date and this girl stayed on her phone constantly. While I was trying to make conversation. Eventually I got a little annoyed and said are you going to look at your phone the whole time. To which she replied well we are not talking anyways. I almost lost my shti. Talking about your ex. Bonus points if somehow all of their exes were douches. Using a ketchup bottle to draw a giant penis on the table while she's in the restroom. When she comes back. You quote the line from Pulp Fiction where Mia Wallace says. 
Don't you just love it when you come back from the bathroom and find your food waiting for you? Full stop. Can we go back to your house? No. It's okay. So this one time. On Reddit. When I was getting back out there after a horrible breakup. We went hiking. I was not fit for hiking. When we finished. I was very proud. I didn't complain about it at all. However. That was sadly ruined as I got up too quick and there was a brush of wind. One of hot proportions followed by. A crackle of fireworks. Whatever I had eaten that morning had not agreed with me and came without warning. I shat my pants. Do not shti your pants on a first date. They will laugh at you. Squeezing her boob while saying. Honk. Honk. You're right. This is more like second date. Saying that you love them. Had that happened to me. Yeah, there was no second date. Classic schmossby. Asking someone why they are being so quiet when they pause in conversation for a minute. It only serves to make things awkward and really. People don't have to be talking constantly just to fill the silence to be having a good time. Using ventriloquism to make it seem as though your crotch is talking. If a girl spoke to me with her crotch. I'd probably be intrigued. Confused and flattered. I met a girl I matched with on Bumble at a coffee place. Since it was my first time actually meeting someone from an app like that. I didn't take it seriously. So I wore exercise clothes and drank pre-workout rather than order something and be a normal human on a pre-date date. She was cute. But never messaged me again. So I guess that was a no-no. Acting like George Costanza. Put before the date. Not during. Or even after. What I'm reading is. Once you go on one date. As someone with a first date tonight. Things to talk about F. O. R. D. Family. Occupation. Recreation. Dreams. What they want to do with their life. Things to not talk about. R. A. E. E. Religion. Abortion. Politics. Exes. And of course the thing these spell out, rape. Edit. Because I got a lot of messages about it. Edit too. This isn't true for every situation. But for a casual first date it normally fits. I went on a first date with a girl who kept talking about her best friend. I tried to keep changing the subject to learn more about the person sitting in front of me. But she changed the subject back to her best friend. She wants to move in together with her best friend. They hang out all the time. Spend the night at each other's places. Etc. Little did I know. This best friend of hers is a guy. Then. Halfway through our dinner. She pulls out her phone and starts texting him about going to the movies after. The movie starts in 20 minutes at this point so I just paid for my dinner. And walked out. Why would you talk about another guy the entire time during a first date and then proceed to rudely text him to set up plans to go see a movie after? It didn't work out. I went on a first date with a single mom. She decided last minute to bring her two years old son along to dinner. Without telling me first. He was one hell of a bad kid. Throwing food at me. As well as others. Screaming. Crying. Basically everything you can think of that one of those kinds if kids do in public. He did. It ended with her actually feeling embarrassed and I took them back home. She offered a BJ later in the evening after he went to bed for the inconvenience. Obviously I accepted. The only thing my swim coach ever taught me was about this prompt. If you expect carnal pleasure. You won't be able to think about anything else. Go and wanting to have fun and see where the night takes you. If it is going poorly. Asking her what day she wants to have the wedding. February 33rd. Personally. I don't like going to movies. It doesn't give more time to get to know each other. Eating shti before going to a date. A girl I was supposed to date came to our first rendez vals with her breath smelling like a bowl of horse shti. Needless to say the date didn't last long. 
talking about previous relationships. Dressing too casually. Look nice. Despite what my username says. Socks and sandals do not equate to success on a first date. I went on this date once where the guy wore socks. Sandals and basketball shorts. Immediate turn off. Probably the worst real experiences I've had is people being Debbie Downers. They talk about all the depressing moments in their life. How their mom is an alcoholic. Their job is just so unfair. How they learned you really can't trust people. Yeah if this is how fun you are to talk to on a first date. FCK or if you think I'm hanging around any longer. I've heard that if you're planning on going on a date. You should eat a meal in front of a mirror so you can see what you look like. You might eat totally gross and you wouldn't even know. Don't have the person you're meeting take you to goodwill because you don't have a car. After he does take you to goodwill because he is just trying to be nice. Do not then proceed to talk about how you live with your ex-boyfriend and 4 other guys that were previously homeless and you just offered them a place to live. Even if you miss these previous steps. Do not sit on your fking phone the entire time and talk about how they are currently trying to get into your bedroom. Again. And take your shti. Even by climbing up to the second story window if need be. And then have any. Other guy. Drive you back to your fking neighborhood and drop you off at some random fking corner because you don't want him to know where you live like he's the fking creep. You heroin addict bitch. I could see your needle marks. Advertise that shti on a cupid instead of dragging Emmy out to run your goddamn errands. You didn't even buy anything at goodwill. At least get a fck ein coaster for 25 cents. Or a shtty windbreaker. Don't pretend to be straight and then be gay and then break up with them by telling them you're gay and then two years later realize you're not gay and then try to get back together. It won't work. Believe me. Also. I was a very confused high schooler. Had a buddy tell his date. Before they ordered. That if she spent $30 or more on her dinner she'd have to put out or she was walking home. He wasn't joking. Dead serious. She threw her $10 drink in his face and ordered an Uber then left. Good for her. My buddy is a real scumbag to women and I told him that straight to his face after hearing this. He still thinks she was in the wrong to this day. Edit. Yes he's still my buddy. We've been friends for over a decade. Complaining about you can go to prison for 20 minutes of action these days. Whipping your dick out, unless he she is okay with it. He took it out. He took what out? It. He took it out. Never mention your opinion on birds. You should save that for a second or third date because we live in a world where people will dump you on the spot if you don't like birds. Or like them the same way they do. Honestly. Anything too sour or savory. Perhaps have some unsweetened yogurt. But not even on the date. Like on the side for a bit of balance in flavors. Before you know it. You'll be smashing those puppies down like it's nobody's business. Then you can't move on to prunes. Figs. Quinces. The list goes on. Asking about mission report the 16th of December 1991. Dating disasters and exes mystery is better than history. There is no need to go in depth about how you were wronged or who you may have wronged. Oops. Comma during a first date. Stay focused on the present and determined to be a good listener by finding out all about your date. Rather than filling your date's mind with disastrous stories. It can be tempting to fall into stories of relationship failures and bad dates. As we all have them. But if you're not careful one of those stories may say more about you than your bad date or past partners. Shting your pants. Except in very specific fetish circles. Had a girl message me on Tinder. So pre first day she opens with this. Hey. I'm gonna break the ice. I'm a fun person but I can be spiteful. I had a roommate I hated once. She had this blanket her grandma made her before her grandma died. It was her favorite thing. One night she brought her boy home. And was up having sx and I could hear it. I know how to note. 
So I took her blanket and undid every stitch one by one until it was just the 7 spools of yarn it was made from. Maybe I'm a bad person. Um. You are a terrible person. And I don't mean that playfully. Don't message me again. Psycho. How she thought that would be appealing to anyone as an opener. Or how she thought doing that was an okay thing to do. I will never understand. Talking too much about yourself. Ask question and answer questions that's it. I usually talk too much. Strike a balance. It's a date not an interview. You don't want to grill him her about every facet of their life. If you have a good story that's interesting and relatable. Tell it. Don't just ask question after question. Ask questions that you can both relate to. A question should lead to a conversation of some sort. Rush Limbaugh's soft tty body. Slicing your date's throat for the dark lord satan and bathing in their blood while chanting sacrificial hymns. Discussing who should going to pay before even getting to the restaurant. I always offer to split the bill. But if a guy wants to pick it up I won't say no. This girl had been hounding me for a while to go out with her. But I wasn't interested until she offered to have sx with me. Neither of us had a car so her cousin drove us to McDonald's where the three of us chatted for a rather long time. The banter was great. We were all having a good time regardless of the unusualness of this date. After McDonald's we made a detour to go to her ex's house where she covered his truck in eggs. Raw fish. Cottage cheese. Etc. Her cousin helped. I didn't. After that I stayed the night at her place. Got her naked but she refused to even unbuckle my pants. Homer this girl had been hounding me for a while to go out with her. Well. There's a problem I've never had. Wearing cargo shorts. To hell with you people. They're comfortable and functional. It's summer. What the hell shorts are you supposed to wear? Those shorty chinos? I'll be damned if I'm going to go around looking like the pool boy at a bathhouse. Every store you go into. Like 90% of the short selection is cargos. Most of the board shorts I see are even cargos. I'm wearing regular ass vans cargo shorts right now. Genocide. A close second would be only ever talking about yourself. I'm 43 year old woman. I had a man telling me, on a first coffee date, that he regretted having his kids. He also didn't like having them one weekend month. They were a lot of work. He looked so happy when he found out that I didn't have any. He was kind of pathetic. All I was thinking was poor kids. I hope his ex find a great man that will love them as they should be. We were on our first, and only, date when she told me that she was pro-choice and unless I agreed to abort first. We would not be having a sex. I am pro-choice. But I think that agreeing to have an abortion is seriously second date conversation material. Acting like a different person just to try and impress a person. That shit is not cool. Just be yourself. Went on a first date with a beautiful girl. Picked her up held the car door. Took her to the finest seafood place. As we are eating she started in on me about the fact that I had my elbows on the table. And that how I don't know how to eat properly in public. I let it slide. She orders a giant plate of crab legs and wine. So she's going on about my lack of tact. And as she is doing so she is digging into a crab leg with a little fork. As she tells me once more about myself. She pulls the fork out flinging a fat juicy pieces of crab meat into the air across the dining room and onto this dude's suede jacket. He immediately jumps up bitch you gonna clean my jacket. She looks at me and I spontaneously blow catfish out of my nose and bust out laughing. She says to me you're not going to say anything? Comma. I responded I hope it's not too expensive she was like take me home now. I responded like. There's cabs outside. Comma. For some reason she never called me again. Asking to smell her titties for a while. Talking about religion. Abortion. Politics. Eugenics. And the subject matter that is spelled out with the capital letters of the above topics. I've usually heard it as economics as opposed to eugenics. 
The opposite that you should talk about. Family. Occupation. Recreation. Dreams. And depending on the type of person you're seeing. Religion and politics aren't bad. It might be better to establish common ground on those immediately since they're pretty important.